Hi guys, I'm Rahul from Simply Learn and today we will be talking about Azure certifications. Now before we go into a little bit of detail, let's first talk about what exactly is an Azure certification. So the Azure certifications are actually examinations that are provided by Microsoft. These help you validate how well you understand the concepts of Azure and how well you can work with it. These are basically badges of honor that you can show off. These also play a very important role when it comes to hiring or promotion. You're obviously more likely to be selected if you're a certified professional. Now these certifications cover a wide range of domains and these certifications also work towards a specified role. For example, you have certifications that help you become a solutions architect or an Azure administrator or an Azure developer. Now if you need a little more convincing as to why you should be taking up an Azure certification, here are a few more. Azure provides powerful data and artificial intelligence services that help create intelligent applications. Azure has more than 100 services that span a wide range of domains. They also help satisfy a great number of requirements. More than 80% of the Fortune 500 companies use Microsoft Azure for their cloud computing requirements. Not to mention these organizations that use Microsoft products can actually avail an enterprise agreement that gives them discounts on Azure services. And finally, Azure provides services across 42 regions in the world, which is more than any other cloud service provider does in the market right now. Now, let's talk about Azure certifications. So it's highly likely that you've heard of Microsoft more popular certifications, the 70532, 70533 and 70535. But Microsoft is changing its approach towards certifications. Microsoft's new certifications aim to make the individual fall into a particular role. For example, Azure Administrator Associate, Azure Developer Associate, Azure Solutions Architect and the Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. This is what Microsoft introduced in the Ignite conference that took place on September 24th. There, Microsoft introduced new certifications that fall under the AZ category. Now, to become an Azure Administrator Associate, you need to have the AZ100 certification or the Microsoft Azure Infrastructure and Deployment and the AZ101 or Microsoft Azure Integration and Security. To become an Azure Developer, you need the AZ200 which is the Microsoft Azure Developer Core Solution Certification and AZ201 or the Microsoft Azure Developer Advanced Solution Certification. Finally, to become a Solutions Architect, you'll need the AZ300 or the Microsoft Azure Architect Technologies and the AZ301 or the Microsoft Azure Architect Design. Now, these were all introduced on September 24th when the Ignite conference took place. Now, the old certifications, the 532, 533 and 535 will be discontinued from the 31st of December 2018. So, what happens to the people who've actually done it? That's why Microsoft introduced the AZ102, 202 and 302 transition certifications. Now we'll talk about that in a little bit. So now let's go into all of the new certifications in detail. So now let's talk about exam AZ100 or the Microsoft Azure infrastructure and deployment certification. So this is basically part one of two when it comes to becoming an Azure administrator. This costs 165 US dollars. Now let's have a look at the syllabus for this exam, some of the domains that you need to prepare for and their approximate weightages. So first off, you need to know how you can manage Azure subscriptions and resources. This involves managing subscriptions, analyzing how resources are being used and how they're consumed and managing other resource groups. Secondly, you have implementing and managing storage. You need to know how you can create and configure storage accounts, how you can import and export data to Azure, configure Azure files and how you can implement Azure backup. Then you have deploying and managing virtual machines. You need to know how you can create and configure virtual machines for Windows or Linux. You need to know how you can automate deployment of virtual machines. You need to know how you can manage Azure virtual machines and manage virtual machine backups. Then you need to know how you can configure and manage virtual networks. You need to be able to create connectivity between virtual networks, how you can implement and manage virtual networking, configure name resolution to groups. Finally, you need to know how you can manage identities. You need to be able to manage Azure Active Directories and you need to know how you can implement and manage hybrid identities. The next step in becoming an Azure Administrator is to do the AZ101 or the Microsoft Azure Integration and Security Certification. The AZ101 or the Microsoft Azure Integration and Security Certification goes into a little more detail when it comes to becoming an Azure Administrator. The certification costs 165 US dollars. Now let's have a look at some of the important topics that you need to know for this examination. So let's have a look at some of the portions that you need to be well versed with to perform well in this examination. First up we have evaluating and performing server migrations to Azure. 
Then we have implementing and managing application services, which involves configuring serverless computing, managing app service plans, and managing app services. Then you have implementing advanced virtual networking that involves implementing application load balancing, implementing Azure load balancer, monitoring and managing networking, integrating the on-premise network with the Azure network, and so on. And finally, securing identities. You need to be able to implement a multi-factor authentication, manage a role-based control system, implementing Azure Active Directories, and privilege identity management. So after you're done with AZ100 and 101, you become a Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate. But what happens to the people who have already done the implementing Microsoft Azure Infrastructure Solution Certification or the 70533? It's for these people that Microsoft has the AZ102 or the Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification Transition. Now this examination that costs 99 US dollars contains concepts from both AZ100 and AZ101. And this exam is only valid for people who've already completed the 70533 certification. Now, if you have completed the 70533, I suggest you do this transition certification immediately as this will be discontinued by Microsoft by the 31st of March, 2019. Now, let's have a look at how you can become a Microsoft certified Azure Developer Associate. To do this, you need to complete two certifications, the AZ200 or the Microsoft Azure Developer Core Solution Certification, and the AZ201 or the Microsoft Azure Developer Advanced Solution Certification. So now let's have a look at the AZ200. Now this certification is part one of two when it comes to becoming an Azure Developer Associate. It costs 165 US dollars. Now this examination is in its beta phase, which means that unlike normal examinations where you get your results as soon as you finish the examination, this exam will take at least one or two weeks before you can get your result. The questions are still being worked on and improved upon. There's also a limitation to how many people can take the exam at the moment. Now let's have a look at some of the portions that you need to prepare for for this examination. You need to be able to select an appropriate cloud technology solution based on your requirements. This may involve a compute solution, integration or a storage solution. Next, you need to be able to develop for cloud storage, which involves developing solutions that involve storage tables, file storage, relational databases and so much more. You need to be able to create platform as a service solutions, which involves creating web applications, mobile applications, app services, serverless functions, and so much more. And finally, you need to be able to secure cloud solutions. You need to implement authentication, access control, and secure data solutions. Now, Microsoft recommends that you have at least a year of experience working with Microsoft Azure, creating applications with Azure tools and technologies, while at the same time having a solid understanding of all the phases of software development. Now, let's have a look at the next step to becoming a Microsoft Azure developer. You need to do the AZ201 or the Microsoft Azure Developer Advanced Solution Certification. Now, let's have a look at that. Now, this examination is also in its beta phase and will move to its final version in the next few months. As of now, it costs 165 US dollars. Now, let's have a look at some of the portions that you need to prepare for for this examination. You need to know how you can develop for an Azure Cloud model. You need to develop for auto scaling, develop for long running tasks, distributed transaction, and so much more. You need to know how you can implement cloud integration solutions like managing APIs using API management, configure a message based integration architecture to develop an application message model and so much more. And finally, you need to know how you can develop Azure's cognitive services, bot and IoT solutions. You need to be able to create and integrate bots, create and implement IoT solutions and to integrate the Azure cognitive services in an application. After you're done with all of this, you become a Microsoft Certified Azure Developer Associate. Now let's talk about AZ202. Now this is a transition examination for anyone who's done 70532 or developing Microsoft Azure Solution Certification. Now just like the other transition certification, this costs 99 US dollars and it is in its beta phase. Now this is accessible for only people who have done the 70532 and is available only for a limited period of time. This will be discontinued from the 31st of March 2019. Now this has concepts that have been included in both AZ200 and AZ201. Concepts like developing for cloud storage, creating platform as a service solutions, securing cloud solutions, developing for an Azure cloud model, implementing cloud integration solutions, developing AI machine learning and IoT solutions. Now after you're done with this, you can become a Microsoft certified Azure developer associate. Now let's find out how you can become a Microsoft certified Azure solutions architect expert. For this, you need to do two certifications, the AZ300 and the AZ301. 
Now let's have a look at AZ300, which is the Microsoft Azure Architect Technology Certification. Now the AZ300 is still in its beta phase and costs $165. This is part one of two for becoming a Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions Architect Expert. Now let's talk about some of the topics that you need to prepare for for this examination. You need to know how you can deploy and configure infrastructure, which involves analyzing resource utilization and consumption, creating and configuring storage accounts, creating and configuring virtual machines for Windows and Linux, automating deployment of virtual machines, and so much more. Then you need to know how you can implement workloads and security, like migrating servers to Azure, configure serverless computing, implementing application load balancing, managing role-based access control, implementing multi-factor authentication and so on. Then you need to architect cloud technology solutions. You need to be able to select appropriate compute solutions, integrate solutions, storage solutions. You need to be able to create and deploy applications like for example creating web applications using PaaS, create an application or service that runs on service fabric, design and develop applications that run in containers and so on. Then you need to implement authentications and secure data. And finally, you need to develop for the cloud, which means you need to know how you can develop long running tasks, configure message based integration, develop for auto scaling, implement distributed transactions and so on. Now this certification does require you to be having expert level skills in at least Azure administration, Azure development or DevOps. You also need to have experience with the various steps in IT operations like networking, virtualization, security and so on. This is because the Azure Solutions Architect play a very important role of advising stakeholders to convert their requirements into scalable, secure and reliable solutions. So now the next step is to do the AZ301 or the Microsoft Azure Architect Design Certification. Now let's have a look at that. Now like all the other certifications, this costs $165 and is still in its beta phase. This is the final step in becoming an Azure Solutions Architect expert. Now let's have a look at some of the topics that you need to prepare for for this certification. Firstly, you need to know how you can determine workload requirements. You need to know how to gather information and requirements to optimize the consumption strategy and to design an auditing and monitoring strategy. You need to design for identity and security like design identity management, design authentication, authorization and a monitoring strategy for identity and security. Then you need to know how you can design a data platform solution. You need to design a data management strategy, a data protection strategy, document data flows and so on. Then you need to design a business continuity strategy. For example, to design a site recovery strategy, ensure that there's high availability, design a disaster recovery strategy and to design a data archiving strategy. Then you need to design for deployment, migration and integration. You need to design deployments, design migrations and design an API integration strategy. And finally, you need to know how you can design a storage strategy, a compute strategy, networking strategy, and so on. After you're done with all of this, you become a Microsoft certified Azure Solutions Architect expert. So what about those people who've already done the 70535 or the Architect in Microsoft Azure Solutions certification? That's where the AZ302 comes in. Now the AZ302 is a transition certification which costs 99 US dollars. This acts as a replacement for anyone who's done the 70535 certification. Now this is again in its beta phase but will last only till March 31st 2019. Now if you finish the certification you get to become an Azure Solutions Architect expert. Now this consists of topics included in both AZ300 and 301. Concepts like determining workload requirements, designing for identity and security, designing a business continuity strategy, implementing workloads and security, implementing authentication and securing data, and developing for the cloud. Now what we've mentioned in this video are the most important Azure certifications. Now there are older certifications but we've not covered them because we'll be focusing on the more important role based examinations that have been introduced recently. So how can Simply Learn help you? As you've noticed the Microsoft certifications are going through a major overhaul and Simply Learn is reflecting those changes. So we'll be very soon coming up with courses that match the new updated content. But as of now, there's one thing that remains unchanged, which is the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. Simply Learn provides a course which goes through all of the major concepts and services that Azure has to offer, like the Azure management tools, virtual machines, web applications, how you can create and configure virtual networks, cloud storage, managing the Azure Active Directories and so on. 
and with that we've reached the end of another video i hope you guys found this informative and helpful thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here